Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here, and I'm taking a short break from Red Dead Redemption 2 to check out a few small games that I've downloaded in, in the last week or so. Uh, this one is obviously called The Long Journey Home, and uh, I will show the beginning of an actual jump mission, which I believe is uh, procedurally generated, and I believe contains some uh, roguelite type elements where you die, but you retain things you've unlocked uh, but first we're going to show the training here because take it from me you're going to want to do this training uh, I actually died during my training I had a crew member killed and I lost my lander <laughs> so it's definitely these are things you're going to want to practice before jumping into the actual game so we'll go ahead and do the training here I don't know how many videos this will take uh, because it does take a little bit to get through this, but let's get started. I like the music and the uh, art visual style of this game so far. Okay, lander training, standard planets. Welcome to holographic training. To begin, fly to the marked liquid planet. It contains gold and carbonates and features perfect conditions for practicing basic lander controls. Planetary gravity is similar to Earth. There are no winds or environmental hazards. Okay, so when I zoom in on the uh, upper right hand of the screen, you can see that's me orbiting the planet there. And then the one with the red marking around it that's where they want me to go so I can hit triangle for info to show the star I guess that's the uh, the star of this uh, planetary system here the planet that I'm currently in orbit around and then go back to the map so Let's see, we're going to have to go sort of to the, like the southeast on this little map here. Probably doesn't really correspond with southeast, but that's what it looks like. So I'm going to hit leave when I get to this certain point in the orbit. And there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and use R2 for boost. And you can see this is all very gravity-based, physics-based stuff. You can see the gravity well on the grid in the background and the orbital paths so I'm generally going toward the where I need to go you don't want to be going too fast and you can rotate your ship with the left stick uh oh almost past the planet I'm trying to get to it's down here okay this looks good and you can thrust with R2 to make big thrusts and then with uh, X you can make smaller changes and then hold L2 to go into an orbit like an autopilot. And there we go. So here we are at the planet. Liquid surface, gravity is average, temperature is temperate. So now we hit square to land and it doesn't matter when you push that so then we switch to this sort of a lunar lander type of a gameplay again gravity is a factor so you have to kind of past where I need to be. You only have a finite amount of fuel. So it's better if you if you think you're not going to be able to uh, like on each planet I guess there could be multiple resources and if you feel like your lander is running out of fuel you may not want to you may want to go back up to your ship I guess and refuel and then come back down and grab more stuff. But right now we're just going to grab this with the drill. So uh, you can see in the lower right hand corner there, uh, L2 for drill. We're getting gold. And you can see our cargo space is filling up with gold. 
I'm not going to bother with that other resource. You can see the resources are marked with triangles on the little uh, mini map at the bottom. I'm not going to bother with that green arrow. I'm just going to sit here and fill up with gold, I think. Or maybe I'm maybe I'm done with gold. So with this one though, I think I need to probably not do this because I'm running out of fuel. But I, if I wanted to, I could go down into the water there and land on the underneath the you know the surface of the water with reverse thrust. I can push down like this and go down and drill some more at the bottom there. But I'm not going to do that because I'm running out, I'm running low on fuel, so I'm going to get out of here. And you just thrust up until you go back into space. docking back with our ship okay so here we are in orbit I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here and then we will pick it up right here in the next video so thanks for watching